hello welcome back to my channel lumsy souls in today's sewing tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how i replicated this um the one on the left is the inspiration and the one on the right is what i made if you have been wanting to know how to make this structured sleeve then this video is the video you're looking for can you see how bouncy it is very light and also structured so let's go into today's sewing tutorial this structured sleeve is a gathered sleeve so we are going to be using basic sleeve block to do this so um, if you don't know how to make basic sleeve block i'll be dropping the link in the description section how to make a basic sleeve block so i'm going to measure from the center front to wherever i want it to stop and then i'm going to mark that out so i'm going to trace it out on another pattern paper i have from the sleeve head down to this place 19 inches that's what i want the interfacing to be so i'm going to fold it like this and i'm going to trace this out on this pattern paper so remember is an off shoulder sleeve so i'm going to also close the sleeve head of this sleeve basic sleeve so i will trace out like this without the sleeve head remember to mark the center of the sleeve so i'm going to after marking it i'm going to draw that line with this it will help me to draw the slash line for the slash and spread because we're going to do a slash and spread method i'll slash each side and make it three three equal parts so as you can see it's six so i'll just go ahead and number this so that i'll be able to know what i'm doing i'll go ahead and trace this out and I'm going to slash and spread this. After cutting this out, I'm going to first of all slash and spread it on an interfacing. This is the interfacing I'll be using. It's called paper gum stay here in Nigeria. Anyone that looks like paper, <laughs> that's the one we call paper gum stay in Nigeria. There's another one that is called cloth gum. That one is it looks like cotton in fact that one looks like cotton fabrics the only the only difference is that one part is uh, has um, interface in it so that's the one we call clog gum or fabric gum or you can call it color gum stay so the one i'm using is paper gum stay you can also use that other one so i'm going to trace my pattern out on the paper gum stay so i'll just go ahead and slash and spread it direct onto the interfacing i don't want to uh, slash and spread on a pattern paper because i just want to slash and spread straight on the interfacing so i'll go ahead and slash this and spread it on the interfacing remember to fold your interfacing into four because we are cutting this on fold so you're going to fold it into four pieces and for the two sleeve so that's what i have done here now for my pattern remember when i fold it into two like this they will look alike so i'll just go ahead and cut it open at the center of the sleeve so that i can use just one side so i'll go ahead and place this on fold like this and split slash and spread this is it after slashing and spreading it i added four inch interval so on the sleeve head i'm going to add three inches remember this is a gathered sleeve so i'm going to add three inches to it and i'm going to connect it to that three inches that i have made can you see what i have done yeah so i'll go ahead and cut this out before i did this i made sure i got i squared out my lines before i started placing the fabric so i'll go ahead and cut this out remember i'm cutting straight on the interfacing so i've not added any sewing allowance to this to so just bear in mind when i'm cutting on my fabric i'll be adding all the sewing allowances and you're going to watch how the method i'm going to add my sewing allowances so this is the 
lining I'll be using is cutting lining I'm using so first of all I'm cutting on my lining first I'll be cutting this I'll be placing this on my lining and cutting it so I've added half inch and one inch here and then half inch up here so I'll go ahead and cut this out I'll use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to my subscribers. We are getting to 20,000 subscribers. Yay! I couldn't have done this without you guys. Yeah, if this is your first time, remember to join this community. So this is it. After cutting the interfacing, can you guys see? I'll go ahead and interface this and I'm going to cut out on my main fabric. So this is it after interfacing it. I went ahead and doubled it because I'm using a paper gum stay. If you're using a peplum stay, you don't need to double this. This is because this is the one I have available now. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it and cut it. I'm cutting just one piece because I'm just doing this tutorial for the sake of this tutorial. If you're not, um, if you're doing sewing for yourself, make sure you cut two pieces. So I'll go ahead and place this like this. I'm going to leave one inch hemming allowance to the main fabric. So I'll place this like this and cut it out. So I'll go to my machine now, I'll place this like this and I'm going to place a crinoline on it and I'm going to sew it. So let's go to the sewing table. So I'm going to place my crinoline on it and I'm going to sew it. After sewing it, I'll go ahead and turn it over like this and I'm going to understitch it. Just with this first crino line, as you can see, you can notice that is already looking structured like the structured sleeve it is but i will go ahead and add another crinoline to it this is it after adding the crinoline this is an old crinoline i used before so that's what i just managed to do this you can even add up to three or four depending on the length of your sleeve so i'll go ahead and sew the this place i'll go ahead and sew it and i'm going to overlock it so this is it after overlocking it i'll go ahead and sew it just sew it because we are going to be adding elastic so we are making elastic casing actually So this is it after sewing it, making the elastic casing. I'll go ahead and pass my elastic casing into the uh, elastic into the elastic casing. Guys, just look at how structured this is looking. Can you see how it is? It is very, very light because I didn't use boning and it's very, very smooth. I'll just go ahead and close this here and I'm going to sew this close here. And then I'm going to, you know, style it for you guys to see. Since this is an off shoulder sleeve, you can go ahead and either you attach it straight on the dress you're making or you can even make it a detachable one so that, you know, you can restyle your dress anyhow you want it. Guys, this is very, very light and it's so structured. I love it, but I don't know if I can wear this structured sleeve. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.